Frankie Muniz has one of the craziest connections in NASCAR history. He was there on that fateful day on February 18th, 2001 for the running of the Daytona 500. He spoke to both Kenny Schrader and Dale Earnhardt before the race, even wearing a Kenny Schrader jacket. Pretty insane when you think about the fact that those two drivers were involved in the fatal wreck that took the life of Dale Earnhardt Sr. The 40 car of Sterling Marlin was also involved making slight contact with Dale Earnhardt coming out of turn three. The chassis that Sterling Marlin drove that day would be driven again at Daytona over 20 years later by none other than Frankie Muniz. In case you didn't know, Frankie Muniz is absolutely killing it in ARCA. The former actor, who is mostly known for his roles in Malcolm in Middle and Agent Cody Banks in the early 2000s, decided to pursue a racing career after Malcolm in Middle had ran its course. And, and is, it's, it's true that you're a race car driver? Yeah, uh, with well, 2005, I started, well, when I was still doing Malcolm, I started racing a little bit and then kind of went into professionally after the show ended. While he was born in New Jersey, he quickly moved moved to North Carolina at the age of four. In Raleigh, North Carolina, he was discovered at a talent show at eight years old, and as they say, the rest is history. Since a part of NASCAR's origins can be traced back to the state of North Carolina, it was only natural that he was gonna become a fan. While his NASCAR fandom was growing, so was his acting career. In the late 90s, he made a couple of film debuts before landing his biggest role ever. Malcolm in the Middle premiered on Fox on January January 9th, 2000. The show was successful and was quickly met with accolades. The pilot episode was watched by 23 million people and the second episode by 26 million. This was the definition of instant success and the show ran successfully for six more years. While that was successful, the Agent Cody Banks films also grossed millions of dollars. Once all of that was over, he was dead set on pursuing a career in racing. I raced in front of BMW and moved up into Champ Car, Champ Car Atlantics. His racing career can be traced back to 2004 when he ran the Toyota Pro Celebrity Race in Long Beach, where he ended up finishing seventh. In 2005, he came back to finish on the podium in third. In 2006, his racing career began to get a little more serious as he signed on to do 14 races during the Formula BMW USA season. While failing to score in point, he continued to challenge himself because in 2007, he moved up to the more competitive Champ Car Atlantic Series. He competed for three different teams over three seasons from 2007 to 2009 making a total of 32 starts, and although he failed to score a single win or podium, he scored multiple points. The best finish of his career was in 2009 at Utah Motorsports Campus. And to say this series was more competitive is an understatement. He had to race against up and coming drivers from the likes of Robert Wickens, James Hinchcliffe, and J.R. Hildebrand. Even though he didn't set the world on fire performance wise, to some IndyCar owners, he showed enough consistency and clearly had enough marketability to warrant an IndyCar ride. But unfortunately, deals for 2010 would fall through. Had an IndyCar ride for 2010, but I broke my back pins in my hand, a whole bunch of Whoa. big injuries. And just by the time I healed, I started doing other things and always thought I'd go back racing and, you know, I guess there's still time. Surgeries would force Frankie out of the season finale. And after 2009, he didn't race for quite some time. He competed in the Toyota Celebrity Race in 2011, finishing fourth, but after that, didn't race for over a decade until, in 2021, he would make his stock car racing debut. Now Frankie Munez is trying out the real thing in his new career as a professional race car driver for NASCAR's ARCA series. Frankie, what makes you think you are ready for this? <laughs> um, well, it, it's something I've, I've wanted for a long time. I, I actually did race cars professionally from uh, 2006 into 2010, but I took a long, 10, 12 year break and realized I'm not getting any younger and if I want to reach my goal of racing in NASCAR, now's the time. He made his debut at Kern County Raceway in the fall of 2001, driving in the SRL Pro Late Model Series for High Point Racing. Fast forward to January of 2022 and Munez participated in the Arca Menards test at Daytona, driving the 01 Ford for Fast Track Racing. After doing a pretty good job there, naturally the question was, when was he going to compete? 
compete in NASCAR. The Malcolm in the Middle star announces that he's becoming a full-time NASCAR driver. The 37-year-old says he's going for his dreams, revealing on January 11th that he's getting ready to hit the track with a race at Daytona International Speedway on February 18th. February 18th, the same day as the 2001 Daytona 500. Wild. He was set to make his Arca Series debut for Rhett Jones Racing, a pretty respectable team in the series. In his debut at Daytona, he ran as high as inside the top five, and while he ended up finishing 11th, many felt the true test was gonna come at Phoenix. I'm assuming just gotten loose, you know, with a guy on the outside of him and trying to dive down onto the bottom. That's Frankie in the black and white number 30. Oh, he's, uh, yeah, he lost it really early on the entry of the corner. You could see the, the, the front tires actually steer back, thought he had it, and then had to correct out of it and spun it to the bottom. Despite an early race spin, he ended up recovering well enough to finish six. This meant after two races, he was sitting second in points, 10 behind the leader. For the third race at Talladega, if a few wrecks went his way, he could potentially become the points leader. Once Greg Van Alst was out, it was open season. Even though Jesse Love went on to score the victory, Frankie Munez was now officially the ARCA Series points leader. I mean, being the, I guess, unofficial points leader is uh, insane. You know, uh, I want to win the championship. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm going to do everything I can to try to stay there. Um, you know, we got two weeks before Kansas. I'll be in the sim doing everything I can to prepare for Kansas to hopefully get a, a top five, you know, my first top five of the season. But uh, as long as we stay close, you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, stay clean, we, we can definitely win this championship. I, I feel like I, I, I feel that now. Frankie Munez's journey to becoming a NASCAR driver has been an unorthodox one. Making his NASCAR debut at the age of 37, I don't think anyone expected him to be the points leader three races in. This is without a doubt one of the early feel-good stories of the 2023 season, which begs the question, is Frankie Munez the real deal? Out of all of the drivers that have made all three starts, he has the best average finish of 8.7. At the very least, I could see Frankie finishing top five in points, but there's still some what ifs. Remember, two of the first three races were on super speedways, and those can be instant crapshoots sometimes. But at Phoenix, he showed enough resilience to come back from an early race spin and finish six. His biggest competition throughout the rest of the season is without a doubt going to be up and coming driver Jesse Love. And based on the other drivers that have made three starts, I think Frankie Munez is without question the real deal as far as being an ARCA Series championship contender. As far as what the future holds for him in NASCAR moving forward, it's still too early to tell. I'll say if he continues to perform like this for the rest of the season, you could definitely bet a truck series team at the very least would love for him to run on super speedways. Let me know in the comments what you think about Frankie Munez's performance so far this season. Do you think he's the real deal? Do you think he has a future in NASCAR's top three series? And the most important, do you think Frankie Munez can win the 2023 ARCA Series Championship? And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.